Are you curious about what, if any, problems might arise during the probate process? Well, that's what we'll be covering today, right after this. Hi, I'm Charlotte from the Volts team. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, I'm a real estate broker, certified probate specialist, and trust advisor in the many cities of the Inland Empire, including Fontana, Rialto, San Bernardino, Loma Linda, Redlands, Rancho Cucamonga, Ontario, and the High Desert. And every week I post tips, insights, and updates to help you gain clarity in our information overload world that we live in today. Now today I'll share with you seven points that often create common problems that occur during the probate process. So be assured that with my experience in guiding and protecting clients as they go through challenging and difficult times, all of these issues are resolvable. So let's get started. The first one is that an executor may decide not to fulfill that obligation. Some people may not have updated their will for years. So when they finally pass and you are named as executor, it might come as a surprise, maybe even a shock. And if there's no will in place, the probate court will appoint someone as administrator. Fulfilling the duties of an executor or an administrator is a time-consuming endeavor. And that can take sometimes years to be finished. If you do not want to be the executor of the will for any number of reasons, there is a way to renounce the position and pass it on to somebody else. Number two, the will may be contested. There are a number of reasons why a will may be legally contested during the probate process. Some of the most common are grounds for challenging because of questions about the mental state of the will maker or claims of undue influence by someone in to the will maker or suspected fraud or forgery, maybe improper preparation or execution. The third issue could be probate assets not found. And commonly misappropriated assets include jewelry, artwork, valuables, photos, keepsakes, heirlooms, furniture, small appliances, and family members sometimes gain access to safes or safe deposit boxes, maybe bank accounts or investment accounts, through stealth and through undue influence over an elderly person. We have seen cases in which relatives brazenly transferred vehicle titles, real estate deeds, or business assets to themselves. The best policy is to secure the house, and the estate as soon as you assume the mantle as the executor or representative. Now this may involve moving portable items to a safe location or changing the locks. And it's also a good idea to take photos or a video of the content of the home. This not only preserves the estate, but it protects you from allegations if assets do go missing. The fourth item is the property may be in another state. Owning property in different states may create a complication from the various state laws that affect the ownership and then how it exists in an estate. The different factors could affect how the property passes to a spouse or to the heirs. Some elements of these complications exist in real estate taxes, insurance policies, business process, and how the estate will pass down to each person. There are some important matters the estate owner must know before he or she dies when owning the property in multiple states. He or she should also hire an estate planning attorney. They can provide for the future of them in passing on the estate. Number five is court delays. COVID has delayed court cases immensely and court case overload will also delay. Number six is creditors. As you wait for the court to decide regarding the probate of the last will and testament or the administration of a living trust or probate, there is no need to stress about handling creditors that are asking for payments. In dealing with creditors, 
that are looking for their payments, you need to first make them aware that the party they seek is deceased. Tell them that all the payments are on hold, all calls should be halted as you do not have the ability to make any payment arrangements until the court makes their ruling. Now creditors can submit formal and informal claims. The personal representative or executor of the will has the authority to pay these debts using estate assets. Although creditors only have a specific amount of time to submit a claim, then with the probate court, it varies from state to state. So if the estate does not have a lot of liquid assets, the personal representative may have to sell other assets to raise the money for these bills. Hey, quick before we get into the seventh problem that may arise, I just want to say thanks to those of you who have already subscribed to the channel. I'm truly grateful you are part of my community. So remember to click like and share it with a friend that may have a need or an interest in this topic. For those of you that have not subscribed, this is a great time to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of the next video. Now number seven on the things that could go wrong in the probate process is renters or family members refusing to leave the property. If the person is residing in the home pursuant to a valid lease agreement, then you must abide by the terms of that lease. Otherwise, if the home is part of the estate, the executor has the authority to determine who may reside in the home. If the home is part of the trust estate, then the trustee has the legal authority to determine who may reside in the home. It's important to note that if the executor or the trustee or the administrator does authorize someone to live in the estate home, even if it's a family member, the family member should pay fair market rent to the estate unless all beneficiaries of the estate agree otherwise. If the person is residing in the home without the proper authority of either the executor, the trustee, or the administrator, then they can be evicted using the same process by which a landlord might evict a squatting tenant. The eviction process is handled through a different division of the court, however, from the division that's handling the estate proceeding. Thanks for watching. See you next time.